For the next several features we're going to be learning about, you're going to be creating lofts and sweeps, and more than likely you're going to need to create some additional planes beyond the three fundamental planes that you have. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create some reference planes. So right up here at the top of the screen, you can see I see references, here's planes, and I have a bunch of different ways that I can create planes. So the one I'm going to use right here is just this very basic one, which is an offset. Click on that. I'm going to choose one of the fundamental planes, which is right here. And notice I get a preview of what's happening here. It's just going to make another plane directly above that, right? So um, now I can type in the value right over here, and you can see what's happening. So it's going up. I can flip this arrow. So notice that arrow is going this way here. Click on that. I can flip it so it's going the other direction, right? And then once you've defined that length or that distance, I'm going to type in actually like 4.0, all right? And then click OK. All right, so now I've created a brand new plane. You see it right over here called plane number one, and that's directly above my other plane. Now, if you want to go back into planes, you can create as many planes as you'd like, and you can use any, any of these different methods you'd like up here. Um, some of might need like an axis, some, an offset from a plane from something else, three points. There's a whole bunch of different ways you can create these. And if you click on it, uh, it generally it will give you an example of, of what you need to do or, uh, or ask the right type of questions for creating that type of a plane. Anyways, once you've got a couple planes, now we can do something like a sweep or a loft uh, and use some of that different reference geometry to get started with.